All right, now we have genitive case, okay? So I assume those of you who are studying, studying Tibetan should know what genitive case is. Just in case, genitive case, genitive case is um, having possession of something. My book, my name, the car, um, the car's door, anything having to do with possession, that's, the, that's called a genitive case. Of, of this, of mine's, or, or, uh, of mine's, whatever. Okay? So first of all, let's go through the letters and the rules here. Alright, so this first one is, um, the first one is an E, and the rule for that is, is any vowel ending with the I sound will take this right after it. And it will be like an I, it will be E, after the I, it will become an E, like Ngai. I'll have an example, I'll get to that. Okay, um, the, the second one is the Ga, the Gi. And the rule for that is um, a word ending with Ga or Nga will take the Gi. Now we have Ki. Any word ending with Da, Ba, or Sa will take Ki. Alright? And then we have gi, any word ending with na, ma, ra, la. Okay, we'll take, we'll take the gi. So those are all our, uh, those are all of our genitive particles. Okay, so uh, once again, likewise before, it is important to pay attention to the last, the, the word, the, uh, the last letter. Okay, um, the last letter, which is going to precede this genitive, this genitive marker here. So, to our examples, our first example here, ngai min, ngai min, and here's the genitive particle here. Okay, that's the genitive particle, and if you if you notice. Na, it has the inherent a sound. Okay, so it's the a and it's a vowel, the ending of the vowel, a. Actually, I should have reworded this. I should have said um, ending ending with the the a sound, ending ending with the inherent vowel sound a. will take the this will take the e. Okay, so. Uh, so here we have nga and now we take the e. So it will be ngai mi. Ngai mi. So ngai mi. That means my name. Ngai mi. Ngai mi. Alright, next example. Dak. We have dakite. 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 And here's the genitive. Okay, it's a genitive marker. And what, we, what did we say our rule was? After a ga or nga. And as you can see, dak ends with the ga, so it will take the gi. So dak again, it means I, or the, it's a classical way of saying I in Tibetan. And then tap is book, so um, my book. Dakite. 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 So I, so book of mine, or I. So dakite. All right, so um, if you guys are um, familiar with languages such as Japanese, Chinese, it's kind of similar. Like, um, yeah, they have that particle, certain particle. Well, it, it's not exactly like Tibetan. They don't change up like that, but they have a particle um, after the pronoun before the um, whatever is possession. Okay, like in, in Japanese, the particle will be no. It's the same. It'll be no for the possession, and in Chinese it will be the, like water, like my water. You have wo, which is uh, which is I, and you have the, which is the which is the um, possession particle. So it's pretty much the same here, but it just doesn't change like Tibetan does. All right, let's go on to the next one. Bukikeig, bukikeig, bukikeig. So Tibet, this is the place, the place of Tibet, bu, te, uh, Tibet, gi, uh, of Tibet, keig, uh, language. So this is the t 
Tibetan, Tibet's language, Tibet's language, Tibet apostrophe S, possession, Tibet's language, so Buki Keik. So as you can see, this is our genitive, this is our genitive marker here. Ki, because it ends with da. So our rule is if it ends with a da ba sa, it's going to take the ki. So buki keik. Buki keik. So the Tibet, Tibet's language, the language of Tibet. Alright. Next example. Uh ge, okay. Ge uh ge gen gi lob tu. Ge gen gi lob tu. So the next one here is gi, and the rule for that is na ma ra la. Any word, any with na ma ra la would take gi. So here is our genitive gi. All right, here's our genitive gi. Why? Because it ends with the na here. So gi again, teacher. Gi gi again is teacher. A gay gen gi of teacher lob tuk student. So the student of the teacher or student's teacher is the translation of that sentence there. Okay? I hope you guys are understanding this. I try to make it as easy as possible uh, for for you guys to understand. So that's pretty much it for all of the uh, for the genitive. And over here, what I've done, I just wrote out some vocabulary like uh, Gay gen, like we at here, that means uh, gay gen is teacher, and then you have uh, gen la, that means teacher also, but it's an honorific way of saying teacher. So you say gen la, gen la, and then here lob tu is student, lob tu. Um, I should mention one more thing. Um, yeah, I mentioned one more thing. Even when you have suffixes, the last suffixes, you have the last suffixes such as, such as here. Gen la. Gen la. If you notice, you don't pronounce, it, it's not pronounced as lads because those are suffixes. Gen la. So you have your suffix here. The same rule will apply. The same rule, the same rule will apply. So if you, instead of using ge gen here, and we use gi because the end was na, Let's just say we wanted to use gen la, and now and, and now and now it's ending with the sa, which is the which is, which is the suffix. What we're going to use? We're going to use ki. So it will be it will be it will be gen la ki. Gen la ki lob tuk. So it, it, if it's, it works the same with the suffixes. Although they're not pronounced, um, the same rule is going to apply with the suffixes. So that's that's how that works. Okay. Um, that's going to conclude this video for the for the genitive case. And um, like I said, I hope it was understandable for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just send me a message. And, oh, and I will, um, I will definitely reply. Uh, like I said, uh, if it's long, if it's, if I feel it's be long reply, I'll just make a video response. I'll just make a video response to your, to your question. So that's all of the genitive cases, and I hope it was beneficial for you guys. And uh, keep studying hard. Keep studying Tibetan hard. It's, a, it's a tough language. It's a definitely a tough language, especially the script. But just practice, 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 and uh, you'll get used to it. Yeah. Now, if you guys want, if you guys need a study partner, send me a message, and I'll be willing to uh, practice Tibetan with you. You know, we could practice the typing and whatnot over on Yahoo. So, if you want to do that, just uh, just send me a message and let me know, and we can set something up. Okay, uh, this will conclude this video, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Until the next lesson.